We end tonight in the world of tomorrow. Many of you saw Bill Whitaker's 60 Minutes story about the driverless car. That's Bill in a Google car. Well, tonight, Bill gives us a look at the Mercedes F015 concept car and the new hands-off relationship between people and their automobiles. Alex, this is like no dashboard I've ever seen before. It's fully digital. Essentially what we're using here is uh, a technology that allows us to track your eye movement as well as your gestures executed by your hands. Track your eye movements. What we're doing is natural interaction. You have all these different gauges. For example, we have the volume knob here. What the car enables you to do is you basically just look at any of these gauges as you can see. For example, with the volume gauge. It's picking up your eye movements. Yes, and, it and it's picking up your hand. See, so I'm changing the volume right now, and it's pretty much very relaxed. I don't have to reach out. I can just do it just naturally. And now I'm talking to you, and the car knows, okay, whatever I'm going to do now doesn't affect me. It also suggests, for example, coffee stopovers. And you, you notify the car, I want coffee. It'll pull over and stop at the next yes. coffee shop? At your favorite coffee stop. Yes. What else is up here? We, we are looking at our extended sense particles here. So these are, again, the detected objects in our vicinity. And what we So the car is seeing all of these dots yes. are things that this car might come into contact with. Other cars, buildings, trees. Correct. Anything. But let me give you an overview of what we are actually looking at here. Wow. So this is the Bay Area. And these are all wow. the detected objects that basically report it back to the car. That's incredible. So all of those dots we were seeing before, this is the representation from yes. a distance. We are just right now looking, for example, at the traffic at the uh, Bay Bridge. Unbelievable. How did you do that? Just look at it, raise your left hand, and push or pull. So in this case, we can just get it back like that. <laughs> Finally puts the auto in automobile, Bill Whitaker of 60 Minutes.